Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do an unboxing of a Louis Vuitton bag that I got. Um, before we get into it, I'm going to put out a disclaimer. I am not bragging about it. I'm not spoiled. This was a birthday gift by my fiance. This is the last bag I have ever wanted from Louis Vuitton. I do not know much about bags. I just do a little research on the bags that I want. So that is basically it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, any questions, leave them down below. I will try to answer them to the best of my abilities, the best of my knowledge. So this is the box it came with. Um, it came wrapped up with this ribbon around the box, but of course I took it out to save some time. And also it had a little tape on the sides to keep it locked. And this is the receipt. Um, if you have gone to Louis Vuitton, you know that they come in a little pamphlet like this. So this is the receipt. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how much it costs just because I know some of you would want to know. And there is your price right there is a pretty pricey bag but this is the last bag the last Louis Vuitton bag I ever get. so I'm taking off this box like so they wrapped it up in paper in this little just like clear white paper like so and you have your bag in the dust bag here so I'm gonna get rid of everything so we can see what's in here so this is how the dust bag looks and now we're gonna unveil my bag as you guys probably know and here it is look how perfect it is i got the neverfull mm in the damier i think that's how you pronounce it i am french I don't know, but it's in the damn mirror, in this print. And I'll give you guys a whole look in it. But I'm going to tell you guys why I got this print. So this is my first ever print. If you guys know, I do have a Speedy 30. And my Speedy 30 is also in this print. Babe is calling. BRB. Hello? Sorry, I got on the phone. I don't remember what was the last thing I said, but I think I told you guys that this is my first print. That's why I decided to stick with this print. Um, my Speedy 30 is in this print and my Zippy wallet is also in this print. So I kind of want it to match with my um, wallet. And also this print here is le a less has... Oh my god, I just like stumble on my word. But this print here is a less hassle to take care of. So it's a less hassle to take care of just because all the colors are darker. Unlike the white one that I do not even know the name of it. Um, yes, it's cute. But I heard if you rub against your jeans or any dark clothing, it stains the side of it. And that's just too much. And then the original one that just has LV written all over it. I... I do like that one you know it's nice but sometimes I just like something a little bit more discreet I don't like something to like have the label all over that's why I hardly get Michael Kors bags also because MK is sometimes written all over and honestly that's just too much for me I just like to have a bag that I know is name brand but it's not so out there for like the whole entire world to like be like oh well that is a so-and-so also on the Louis Vuitton, this strap here and the um, handles is um, a clear color than this. So I did find out that over time it ages, it gets, what's the word? I think it's patine, some, something like that. Again, I'm not a purse person, I'm just unboxing my purse <laughs> so you guys can see it. And also I want to look back on this because I didn't do this with my speedies. So enough about the reason why I got this bag. So this is a Neverfull MM. This is the medium size. There is a smaller size, the PM, and the big one, which is the GM. I was going to get the PM, but honestly, it was literally too small for me. I did try it on, but I'm not small. I'm super tall, and that just look kind of ridiculous on me. The medium one, I also tried on. I liked it. I was going to try the GM. But 
The reason why I didn't get it is because it is too big and I have heard that when you have a big bag you tend to put so much stuff in it and it weighs it down and then these straps also then they start you know ripping and I don't want any of that. I want this bag to last me as much as it possibly can because we all know Louis Vuitton bags are super expensive and I want to get my money's worth of it. If you guys want to know more about those bags I will link each and every one of them down below by the color and all that but again I do not know that much about bags I just do a study on the bags that I want. So the one thing this bag doesn't have is a zipper it just has this little clip here that you clip it and unclip it and basically that's all the secureness that you're gonna get. It did come with this little pouch here and the one thing I do love about Louis Vuitton is that their zippers just like glide open like you don't need to struggle or anything so this is the bag it comes with a big pouch and a medium pouch on the side of it and it is completely attached to the bag like so you could take it off or you could leave it on it depends I probably would take it off maybe I don't know here is the little clip to it right here so we're just gonna unclip that for now and it looks like that it could be like this little bag or something now I don't know if the inside of all the other ones are red. I don't think so. I think there is light brown and dark brown. But for this checker design, the inside is always red. And basically the only bag you get is this one bag here. That looks like this. What's that? Oh, that's just a little paper. I'm taking that out. But you just get this one bag here. I do know on the inside, this lettering here. It was in cursive and they had different designs but from a recent video I watched it's just what they're doing now and you just have this big old pouch here to throw all your stuff in. Now the sides here you can squish this in to make it smaller. And it changes the whole style of the bag. You guys see that? It looks a little bit more different now. But it's the same bag. And also it like secures the edges for when... It secures the edges so people won't go into it. When you're getting the train. Because I live in New York. I take the sub train. Sub train. I take the subway. So you know. You're gonna want to secure when you go out. Or on the weekends when I'm in a car. I'll probably just leave it open like this. So these are the two ways you could do it. Either this way or this way here. And that is basically everything about the bag. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, everything will, will be linked down below. If you guys want to know more about this bag, you guys can check on the website. Links below, like I said. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.